On this journey, we meet many kind people. They go out of their way to help us and to give us good advice. I remember we were on a plane flying from Hawaii to Mexico, and there was this guy sitting right next to us who wanted to know what our travel plans are. So we told him that we are on a journey on a project called I Believe That Dreams Can Come True. We want to cycle through Latin America and interview people about their dreams. And when he heard that, his whole face turned ash white. He said, Girls, do you not know how dangerous it is to be cycling in Mexico? We should leave, turn around and go, right now! And with that ominous warning, we landed in Mexico City. And during our first week's stay in Mexico City, on Thanksgiving Day itself, we received an email from a kind gentleman who has been staying in Mexico for the last 20 years. The title of his email was The Dangers of Cycling in Mexico. And in that email, he listed down 101 gruesome and cold-blooded ways in which we could die. He said, even if you do not die in an accident, you may be robbed a hundred times over. You are defenseless. It was not a happy Thanksgiving. We're not gonna lie, we're gonna admit it. We were afraid, we were scared. Fear got into our space. And one day, we came face to face with a near-death experience in the local subway. Because back at home in Singapore, every time you bought the train, you will hear a public announcement. If you see a suspicious article, and they will show you a picture of a black backpack, Please call the police or press the emergency stop button. We have become well-trained terrorist spotters. In fact, it's so ingrained in us that we become ultra-sensitive to suspicious articles, especially those in the shape of black black hats. And guess what? At the next stop, a big burly Mexican man came onto the subway with a big black backpack strapped in front of his chest. Warning sign number one. And then, he began taking out cables from his backpack and started connecting them. Warning sign number two. And then from his pocket, he took out a remote control that has a big fat red button right in the center of it. Final warning sign. This is a terrorist attack. Press the emergency stop button now. But there wasn't any. And what was worse was everyone else was oblivious to what was happening in the subway. In my heart, I was praying, Dios, Dios! If I were to die on this journey, then what at least let me die on a bicycle. Not in the subway and not from a terrorist attack. It was as if we were watching Mission Impossible in slow motion as he slowly pressed the green button. To find out what happened after the button was pressed, please watch the next episode of Dreams Unlimited. <laughs>